how to use wave easy hey guys welcome back to the youtube channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how to get started with wave so let's get into it now you might be wondering what exactly is wave what is the purpose of wave and how do you get started with wave well wave is a online free to use accounting software that will enable you to create a simple bookkeeping format for all of your basic business needs so if you're a business starting out if you're running a large project then getting all of your books together can be quite Quite a difficult process if you are starting your business you don't want to run into any trouble you don't want to miss any payments and you don't want to have any financial issues that could be a result of just some minor miscalculations or just having a few issues could result in major issues later on so that is why using a application like wave could be really helpful for a lot of people to further uh, simplify their accounting and payment needs with this software now to get started on wave all you have to do is you can click on sign up over here i already have an account on wave so i'm just going to click on over here and then you can sign in with google or sign in with your email address or you click on sign up now and get started with google or your email address over here so i'm going to sign up with google over here to get started with wave and i'm just going to select my account and just like that the sign up process is going to begin now wave is going to ask you your first name and last name and your business name and what your business does so we're going to input that so now you can see I have been logged into my Wave account and now I can get started with my Wave account. So you can see on your left, you will have your navigation panel. Within this navigation panel, you have a launch pad, you have your dashboard, you have sales, purchasing, uh, accounting, banking, payroll reports, Wave advisors and tax filing. Below that, you have your application integrations and then your basic settings. Now you can see I've added this burger company and what you can do is you can create several different businesses on one email address. So so I've signed in with my email address and I can add more businesses. So I can click on create a new business and set up a new business for my Wave account. So let's say that I want to manage the finances of maybe a water company that I'm running. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter the company name and then I'm going to add what kind of business this is. So this could be a, a services business. And then you're going to select what it suits best and then you're going to enter your country and then you're going to add your business currency and the type of organization this is so let's say this is a partnership and then you're just going to click on save over here and just like that i've added this new company now what i'm going to do i can click on the launch pad of the new company on my left over here and i can begin setting up my basic goals on my company so there are three basic things that with any kind of business you might want to do you might want invoicing you might want bookkeeping or you might want reliable payroll so let's say to get started i want to start my payroll for my employees so i can click on reliable payroll over here and once i click on reliable payroll i can begin getting started so i can click on get started over here and just like that what i can do is i can set up my employees first and contractors so uh, let's say i can click on add employee and i can click on enter employees and I can just add all of the information about my employees over here to start running payroll. You can see on your payroll section below that I have timesheets as well. So I can continue set up and set up timesheets for my employees as well. Then you also have payroll transactions where you can monitor all of the transactions with your payroll. Then you also have taxes, tax forms, COVID-19 and run payroll. So if you go into your run payroll section, what you can do is you can not only just set once you have like all of your basic information set up, then all you have to do is click on run payroll to be able to just have all of your employees be paid for and all of your contractors, vendors be paid for in a simple schedule. So that is their basic payroll function other than that let's say if you go on to purchases so if you click on bills over here with any business you're going to be paying bills and you're going to be paying money as well and for that you can click on create your first bill and you can monitor your cash flow via these bills so let's say we can choose a vendor and the first thing we're going to do is click on add new vendor we can enter the vendor name as this sample and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the bill date and the due date as well. I can enter the number of the bill and then I can also enter notes as well. Then you can choose the item or the product that this person is providing or doing. So what we're going to do is we're just going to enter a name. 
and then you can choose the ad the specific thing that they are doing for you so let's say this is just accounting fees and you can enter the price over here and then you can also add a description i'm going to click on add product and then you can add the description for this as well you can add the price you can also add taxes as well and then you're just going to click on save over here and this is just a simple sample bill that i have created now you can also click on record a payment and then you can choose your payment method on how you're going to pay them let's say cash and then you can also add your uh, payment account so how you provided this payment and then you can also add payments and um, memo and notes as well so you can have all of your bills paid just like that and this can help you enable to monitor the status of your company you can see your overall cash flow and income as well then below that you also have products and services so you can add all of the different purchases that you do for your company so if this is a water company let's say i can enter my renting space and i can enter the uh, people that I'm renting from so I can also enter other, other expenses such as the tanks that I'm using or any other thing that you might be using for your bill now below that you have sales so sales is the part where you're going to be adding your cash flow so over here you have your estimate so you can click on create an estimate over here and have a sales estimate for the products that you're selling below that you also have invoices so whenever someone purchases something from you you're going to be generating a invoice for them so you can click on looks great and let's go and then you can add the customer you can add the invoice number you can add the items that they have purchased so let's say the item that they purchased was water tank refill and then you can add the description of the item as well how many quant what the quantity was so let's say we have 66 refilled and the price for each was 120 so then you have your total amount you can also choose a tax name so we're going to just add sample tax and then we're going to add two percent as the tax and we're going to click on save so i've just added a two percent tax as well and then the total amount has been added you can also enter notes and terms on the bottom of your bill so we're also going to click on add customer just to finalize our bill so i'm just going to enter a sample name and then we're just going to click on save over here click on save and continue and just like that i have created a simple invoice for the people that are purchasing from me so i can click on approve draft and start sending these invoices as well and i can see the last sent i can also see the get paid over here in my invoices as well you can also generate recurring invoices let's say someone is purchasing a certain subscription from you they get a specific service or product after a specific amount of time so this will enable you to Further, keep a simple uh, recurring invoice that would generated uh, that would be generated every time someone purchases that item from you as well. Now below that you also have banking, so you can link your bank account on uh, on Wave as well to further keep a simple um, a cash inflow of your overall company. Now if we go back onto the Wave dashboard, uh, the Wave dashboard will allow you to see a overall summary of the company's finances. So you can see you have your cash flow graph over here below that you also have a profit and loss bar chart then you have a payable and owing you will have your net income with the physical year income expenses and net income then you will also have a expenses breakdown for the year or the month as well so uh, you will get a overall review of your entire company at a glance and this is the fantastic part about wave they have such an amazing and intuitive accounting software that is available absolutely for free. So Wave Accounting is absolutely for free. There are no charges. You get all of these features for free. You have your unlimited income and expense tracking. You have you can run multiple businesses in one singular email. You can have your invoices, bills, cash flows, profits, profits, losses, all manageable and documented with Wave. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to get started with Wave. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video